do you get nuisance tripping of your safety switch? There are instances where excessive tripping can be annoying or a downright nuisance. No sooner do you flick on the kettle than you hear the TV go off behind you. As you once again tramp down the stairs to turn the safety switch back on, think about what the problem could be. It might be a faulty electrical appliance or indicate a high load from a variety of appliances on that circuit. Circuit loading can be caused by appliances that require a large current to work, such as microwaves, irons and kettles, especially if they're all on the same circuit. At the switchboard, reset the safety switch that flicked off. If it trips again, the last appliance plugged in may be the cause. Disconnect that appliance from the power point and reset the safety switch. If everything now functions properly, you've resolved the problem. However, if the safety switch continues to trip, then disconnect all the appliances and plug them in one at a time until the safety switch strips again. If a particular electrical appliance repeatedly sets off the safety switch, then it may need to be replaced or checked by a competent person or the manufacturer's authorised agent. Avoid touching any potentially faulty appliances while the power is on. If you continue to have problems, contact your licensed electrician. Don't attempt to do any electrical repairs yourself. It's best to always keep your electrical appliances, PowerPoint switches and extension leads in good working order. If anything looks damaged, cracked or it's not working correctly, then have it checked or dispose of it. And keep your safety switches working by testing them every three months. They're there to protect you. For more information, visit electricalsafety.qld.gov.au or call 1300 362 128.